From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Over the last several days and going back to uh, July 1st, we've picked up several inches of rain across eastern North Carolina and some spots over a foot of rain. And after dealing with a wet stretch of days, certainly across the east, it looks like now we're going to start seeing a quieter pattern move in, lasting over the next couple of days. So cooler and drier conditions tonight, sunny and warm going into your Sunday. Not really uh, worried about any type of precipitation for tomorrow, but then we're also going to talk about the tropics as well. As we get a little bit closer into August, uh, we're watching a tropical disturbance that has at least a low chance of developing over the coming days. But one thing's for sure tonight, it is a nice evening. Certainly in New Bern, 82 degrees, north northeasterly breeze at around 14 miles per hour. This northeasterly flow is also responsible for transporting drier air, certainly across the area. Remember, the past several days we had a southwesterly breeze bringing in tropical moisture from the lower latitudes. But when you have a northeasterly breeze, you're bringing continental air. You also get a little bit of marine influence, certainly across the east. Long for these temperatures in the 80s to drop down quickly into the 60s as we head into tonight. In fact, tomorrow morning heading out the door 63 64 can't rule out a stray area or two getting close to the upper 50s. Low 60s to 70s certainly along the immediate coast will rebound into the lower 80s throughout the afternoon. Great day to get outside, maybe do some yard work, have a nice picnic outdoors, maybe flock into the beach as well. Low 80s certainly along the immediate coast and then going into Monday morning starting off fairly mild into the upper 60s and as we continue to move further along over the coming days. We'll see humidity return, but one thing's for sure as well as the tropics are going to start becoming more active. Usually as we get into August and into September, we tend to see the peak of hurricane season and usually in August we tend to see more development typically out towards the central and eastern Atlantic. Also the Caribbean and also the western part of the Atlantic can become a little bit more active right now and we are watching a disturbance here which has about a 30% chance here over the coming days of developing if it were to develop next name on the list is Debbie here and so it has a nice little area that it could emerge out here in over the coming days so just something worth watching again this is still something roughly about five to six days out but again we'll keep a close eye on it but here over the next eight days temperatures will be into the 80s getting up closer towards the 90 degree mark as we head into Wednesday afternoon and then Thursday into Friday temperatures can make a run towards the low to middle 90s but then dropping back down into the low 80s as we'll have a chance for showers and storms overnight temperatures going from the 60s to the muggy 70s. Yeah, and tomorrow looks like a beautiful day ahead. As our resident meteorologist, Foodie, you mentioned Sunday brunch. What's on the food forecast? As of right now, I haven't made my full menu, but I obviously recommend having some eggs, bacon, maybe some bagels, some cinnamon rolls to start off. So anything nice, something quick and easy. All right, thanks, Russell.